Legend of Total War here with part 49 of my Total War Attila Let's Play campaign as the Venetians. Previously we got minor victory conditions met and we have smashed the Garamantians. I mean really smashed them quite hard. Mostly just using auto resolve, actually entirely using auto resolve just because we're at that point in the campaign where there's no point to fight the battles manually anymore. There's just... Why bother? They're not interesting. Most of the viewers are probably gone by now. So I'm just trying to fucking finish it. Jesus, lots of levels up. Um, I don't care. Okay, now, let's see if these guys want a peace treaty after the absolute ass beating I gave them. You have my nope. No. Probably due to the fact I'm untrustworthy. Because I broke a few treaties recently. Now, me taking this province here has not re lowered my overall Slavic paganism by that much. But we need to get that going. So that'll need to be converted straight to that. Some of these things can't stay. I mean, that provides a ton of food. So probably probably won't need to build a farm. But we'll definitely need a sanitation building here. Okay, well, I can do that one. That, that's destroyed. Yoink. There could be some armies here. But there isn't. I'm taking it, bitch. You got a problem with that? Too bad. That needs to go. Repair it. Needs to go. What can we convert that to? Chieftain's Keep. Yeah, I don't think we need them that much anymore. So... Get rid of it. Because public order is not really that essential. I mean, because it's everything's under control. Yeah, I want you to force march down to here. You come up over this way. I don't think they'll attack us. And if they do, they'll lose. Get over here and blockade this port. If the port's blockaded, are they still able to recruit troops? Because I can't get over there this turn. No, oh, I can't recruit here. Not a big deal. It's easy to expand when you've got tons of armies. Okay, um, I don't think there's anything else I need to do this turn, so let's just move on. So what I go after a you know, any wars than this now. I need to be taking whole provinces. If it's only a partial province, I won't even bother with it. And it's got to be something that's already been consolidated, or else it's just going to take me so long to build up. It doesn't actually take the AI that long to restore settlements. Because they get all kinds of growth bonuses. And with the Huns gone now, even though they're probably not going to grow them at the rate... or uh, not, Grow them, uh, what's it called? Recolonize them at the rate that I would like. They will eventually do it. I could always consolidate. I mean, could always co uh, colonize the settlement and then leave it and let rebels, or whatever faction, deal with it. Maybe subjugate them. That's always a possibility. Let them build the region up, and then I'll take it off them once they've done it. So yeah, the Garamantians, they've still got a bit of strength left. Not enough to stop me, but they've got some. So how are we going now? Still growing very slowly. So 
So this hit needs to be converted. And that can stay for... No, no, we don't need it. How much food have we got here? There's tons. Um, this will need to be converted. Same with this. This can be converted to... Just having a look at what I should get. Tons of public order in that. We don't have much sanitation. Oh, I destroyed it then. Shouldn't have repaired it. Wait, is that what I was going to build it? No, that's exactly right. I was going to build the sanitation there, so it's okay. You can build this. Hang on, that's going to... Yeah, no, we'll be, we'll be fine. So the guy that was there, he buggered off. Up to here, by the looks of it. Oh, we can't make it there in a single turn. He probably got sabotaged. How many armies do I have here? There's... The there's three, but one of them can't quite make it. Well, whatever. You come over here, besiege the settlement. I'm sure we can handle this. Maybe not. Are you able to use a nine attack by any chance? Nope. Come over here, attack this loser. That is impossible. For the for Come sit here just so we maintain public order. You attack this loser. Now let's see what the odds are. Good enough. So we only lost that one unit there. Not a big deal. Ready for battle. And they lost that army, which I might just be able to catch him. He is out of here. Lost a few units on that one, but again, all replaceable. Okay, now I don't want to go to war with them anymore. So I want a peace treaty. Do not wander in like a desert beggar. If Hang on, they only hold Alexandria. Like if I take Alexandria, I'll uh, subjugate them. Could have gone there right now. No, I wouldn't be able to make it really. For the tribe. Actually, why don't we come over here and blockade this port? Oh, attack! No, no, hang on, hang on. No, you have to blockade the port. No, he's not letting me do it. Because if I attack this, obviously it's going to be a combined land and sea battle, which are annoying to deal with. Just stand out here. But anyway, our guys could use a little bit of time to rest, I suppose. Just a little bit. Okay, so the settlement here, what are we going to do with it? Um, that needs to be repaired so it can be converted. Repair that. Destroy it. And... That's honestly better than anything I can make. Even though it's level 3. Because that's public order, it's got growth, it's got more sanitation. I'm going to keep it. Because if I look at mine, it's 5 plus 9 sanitation. So that's 10 sanitation. This has 9 growth, that's got 7 growth, so it's not quite as good, but I don't need growth here. And it's got 3 public order. And it just cost me 75 maintenance per turn, which really doesn't concern me, so I'll keep that. Ready for battle. So, 
So then, Egypt I can now trade with. Welcome, and let us be honored by your... So they're a puppet state of the Eastern Roman Empire. Okay, that's great. May God bless us both with scoop. I'm not paying them for another trade agreement just yet. So looking at this over here, there's still nine more turns to this to go. However, if I stop, no, I can still, still keep doing it, because we've got more than four thousand, right? Summary over here, that's going up by zero point two percent. That's good to know. Let's move on to the next turn. So we need to get to 80% if we want to get Divine Victory. Which if we grow at 0.2% to get, that's what, 40 turns? Looks like they're preparing an attack. Odds are in my favor, but I don't know that for certain. They assassinated one of my generals. Look at this army, it's full of fucking Onagers. What else have they got? Onagers, it's Onagers galore. This army is... Hmm. The odds are in our favor, all we have to do is go aggressive stance. And we lose a few units, but overall, they lose everything. Thanks, bitch. They've just ensured that Alexandria is going to be easy to take. Losers. I'm looking forward to subjugating these wankers. I don't know if he's dead or wounded, and I can't be bothered to check. Okay, looks like they've still got some forces here, but it's not going to last long. This guy can do it by himself, but I'll send in the other army to help. Oh, we stole one of their onagers. Nice. So we want to subjugate these guys because I don't actually want Egypt. Took a bit of damage on that. Oh man, a lot of money to be made. I'll tell you what, we'll sack it first. Level 5, Latin Patriarchal C. That provides osmosis. We don't want that. Okay, I know what to do. Little trick I've learned. I'm gonna fucking set this right back to zero. Oh, no, 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 no. Jeez. Doesn't matter. Sack again. And if we have a look here, Alexandria has been just about demolished. Keep it up. Can't get any more demolished than that, and then subjugate them. There you go, that's what you get when you mess with me, bitch. That's all that remained of them out of that war. They could not have had a worse time in that fight. Okay then, so these guys absolutely despise me of that. Look at that, military actions against Garamantians. How about a trade agreement? Before you say anything, oh, fuck you. 
Okay, now how about you? God give you wisdom so that you may speak. Okay, over time I'll be able to rebuild our forces here. They'll they'll never be as strong as they once were. So there's not too many factions left. Alright. I haven't gone around building things in a while. Let's go have a look. Bit of growth here, that's good. What do we need? There's a lack of food here, and actually the public order is going downhill. Well, if I fix the food problems, that'll fix everything. So we'll build food, food here. Trade wharf. What? Hang on. How much food have we got here? Sanitation's good. All right, go for it. Plenty of public order, so that's not an issue. All right. So, what do we need in these regions? Okay, we need sanitation. No, I've already got that there. Um, I need this. Need two of those. Hang on, do we really? This region's infertile. Yeah, I need two of them. Because I need to get these things religiously fixed. I'll get rid of that as well. That needs to be food. This needs to be sanitation. There we go. Okay, this needs to be sanitation here. Which will be good because it'll help with growth. Um, this needs food. So just more food. Sanitation needed there. Oh fuck, this region doesn't have enough food. But then again, the public order's fine. So I don't know, I guess I'll build another shrine then. Why not? So, food here. Anything else now? Just keep going with the food. Gotta feed the people. Hang on, this region's not being taxed. And we can still tax it even though it's hemorrhaging food. What are we missing here? No, that's fine. And that'll be food as well when the time comes. Probably don't even need that. Ah, oh, whatever. Do we need sanitation? No, no, sanitation's fine. Looking good. Okay, how are we going with this religious influence? That reminds me, these these techs are not techs, um, um what's it called? God, my brain farting. Uh, edicts. I can get myself let me see. Well, this is public order due to presence of Slavic paganism. Doesn't actually provide. Oh no, that one does. Plus four. Province to each region. What does that even mean? Is it provincial or, or what? 
So we currently got the growth going on there. This is in Venetia. Whatever, I don't need it to grow fast anymore. Grab the sacred winds. Let's have a look at where I've got, I've got the other governors. Got one in Dardania. Go for the sacred winds. Amenesis, sacred winds. Because I said so. Alright, let's move on. enemies we will be in war I trust my once friend your people will fall into darkness and despair um, I'm not gonna call my allies into this because they're not gonna help actually you know what I will for the Africans <laughs> these guys didn't last very long well guess what I'm gonna wreck your settlement again bitch oh wait this still in blue I'm sure that'll change We all knew that Aaron were a bunch of assholes. Uh, but they're actually quite strong. Okay, what I want to do is send these armies to around here. Make sure they stay together. You come and stand over here just to make sure the Eastern Empire doesn't. Oh shit, I just trespassed on their land. That's not going to be good, but whatever. So I can raise more forces. Which I should do that. I'll do that here. Because I got the money for it. No problem. And just recruit Slavic Noble Spearmen. Because, oh, hang on. Yeah, whatever. Because it's, cause it's easy doing that way. Actually, you know what? We might be better off getting the swordsmen to spam them because the same upkeep cost. They've got higher stats though. And if I'm going to take this, I might as well recolonize these territories as well. So I'm going to raise another army. His job is just to recolonize. And teach them a lesson. So then, let's have a look at this. So it's 72, it's going up by 0.3%. That's, that's an improvement. All right, any regions going downhill in public order? Yeah, Carthaginesa still is, but not by as much now. Now we need divinity farmlands. Probably because it's autumn, that's why it's not going down by as much. This region here is poor. It's largely just because of the food. Like, if I demol demolish this, I'd, um, well, actually, I'll keep that as it is for now. Extra 20 food. Fuck it, do it. I'm sure I can turn that settlement around before anything bad happens. Like a revolt. Yeah, I need you to go up ahead to spy on them. And let's move on to the next turn. Oh yeah, I forgot to punish them for... for not backing me up. The people will turn to the legion oh, and shit. they will set their swords to your people. Okay. I... Um, I don't want to call my allies into it, they're already at war. They've refused to join their side, so they've, they've, they've lost their uh, protectorate state. But what's weird is that they actually like me. I'll bribe them for another peace treaty, I don't want to go to war with the Roman, Eastern Roman Empire, I need them for trade. I'm going to run out of people to trade with soon. Ok, 
Okay, so it's deteriorating because of the war, but we can Speak surely get a peace treaty. Oh, look at that's already words. moderate. So it's not going to cost me that much. So offer a peace treaty of say thirty thousand, not three hundred, thirty thousand, and also throw in a trade agreement with that. All right, make it fifty thousand then. Done. And have an aggression pact. Ah, fuck you. Well, at least I'm getting myself nearly seven thousand in trade income. So I'd make my money back in about ten turns, roughly. Less than that, actually, but whatever. All right. Um. What's this? Sfarog's Raiders. Reduced upkeep cost for all units. So that's pretty good. Yeah, why not? Okay, so we still need to punish the um, the Garamantians for not joining me in war. I'll teach you a lesson. Fucking obey your betters, you dumb cunts. Chains are where you belong. Get used to them. Because it's either chains or death. Those are your two options. You're lucky I even leave you Alexandria. You're given one of the richest cities in the world. Be thankful I don't take it off you. Of course I'm going to sack you again. Ready for orders. You've rebuilt it quite a bit in, in my absence. A shame it's all going to go away. There's no liberate option. Learn your place, bitch. It's at the bottom of my boot. Who took this off them? Why is it desolate? No, it's not. It's un unknown. Let's see. Do these guys want a peace treaty? Nope. That's okay. I want to kill them anyway. Alright. How are we going with religious influence now? Not great. Okay, moving on to the next turn. Forgot to move. See, they declared war on me, but they didn't actually make their attack. My master judges the time is right for an attack on. Nope. Get moving up here. Get moving. Ready for further orders. I'm wondering if I should actually bring him over here as well. Because only two armies versus their two armies. What have they got? Armenian spears. Hey, you come up here as well. Ready for battle. I'm sure they'll be attracted by these dumb settlements if I start colonizing them. Actually, why the hell am I being conservative with this? Oh, hang on. There we go. So that tech was done, good. Yep, grab that. That'll give us one extra recruitment capacity. Big deal, but still do it anyway. Now, us taking this territory here, hang on, you need to not stand there, will lower our overall religious influence slightly. Not by very much, though, surprisingly. How much, um, well, actually, because there's a lot of Slavic paganism here, thanks to osmosis. Good, well then, 
let's build it up and continue that um, that shit. And see, us uh, us taking that now has at least growth is beginning. All right, let's. What else are we doing? Let's move on to the next turn. Okay. So, oh, hang on. Now that um, these guys broke away from their protectorate state, how about? And then enjoy good Roman wine when oh, they're at war great. with these guys here, so I can't do anything about that. I wanted them to become my allies. Anyway, let's move on. Religious change of the Garamantians to from Greek to Latin Christianity. Well, whatever. What's next? Our two armies here should be able to smash this. Of course, one of their army escaped. Do you reckon you can beat him by yourself? I mean, I doubt it, but let's check. Nope. Maybe if he actually attacks us here. Anyway, we'll go into starvation mode as soon as we take this. I decided to keep it. Okay, that's all I really wanted you to do, so you can go away now. And you weren't needed, so you can go back here. Alright, so Gabala, what are we doing here? So we've got a mili militia compound. Get rid of it. Quarry, get rid of it. Magistrate palace, convert it to... No, get rid of it. Looks like our growth rate has actually decreased. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. We should be able to recruit new troops here. Ready for orders. Are you ready to do your duty to the tribe? Alright, what do we need here? We need food. What's the issues? Uh, we got a low on food a little bit. But we'll for the most part be fine. That'll go up quite rapidly, actually. So it's going up at 0.4%. Good way. On our way to 80. 80%. And this is four turns away. That's not going to help us at all in anything apart from converting buildings. But once we've reached divine victory conditions, I'm going to wipe out everyone. Eastern Empire, all those other motherfuckers, they're all dead. Okay. Well, luckily, Order Resolve will yield a victory for us, so I'm going to go Aggressive Stance. Wasn't a great victory, but... How's that a decisive victory? Well, whatever. I'll be able to chase after him and finish him off next turn, I think. What's going on at McCormides? There's plague and shit going on. Yeah, we still need to build this up.
Jeez, they pretty much recovered to full. It's all thanks to the religious building here, because 20% replenishment. It's huge. Well, Aran, you dug your own grave on this one. It's your own fucking fault. It's like punching a bear in the, in the back with a fucking wet fish. All you're gonna do is make it hungry. So all this shit needs to go. Convert this. Why don't you come down a bit further south? A lot of des desolate territory over here that I don't really want to expand towards just yet. I mean, these ones were already quite high, just thanks to the osmosis, I guess. But now we need to, you know, build their buildings up. Everything looks good here. Right, let's go through the regions and see what else there is to do. At least the public order is under control now. Uh, what do we need here? How's the religious influence? It's still going up, but it's not where it needs to be. It needs to be at least at 80%, so we're going to need to build a religious building here. How are we going for food? They're not going to like... Well, hang on. I can get some food from here. And upgrade that. sanitation building here. Seems that the birds are out. If you can hear them, hopefully you can't. But I can. If I... Let me... Who am I kidding? If I can hear them, you can fucking hear them. I don't think we need this building here. Get rid of it. The public order is fine. Sanitation there. to spam religious buildings in this campaign, I'll tell you that much. Alright, what do we need here? Um, I guess another vanity farmstead. I mean, there's nothing else I need. Just a stupid building, but who cares? It's because it's got no penalties. Good, let's move on to the next turn. Yep, faction destroyed, we already knew that. I should know, I'm the one that destroyed them.
don't care. How many priestesses do I have? Four for four, good. Wait, am I taxing this region? There's no need for that, so stop it. Okay, and then let's get the religious going. How are we going with... There's still this region here we haven't taxed. I've had it for ages now. Okay, we can get away with it. Oh, only a little bit. We need to build food here right away. Oh, wait. Was I going to build... Let me just check this. Okay, actually, keep it not being taxed. And build, build that. Because we need that extra influence. And we just got to wait until these other things grow before. I mean, I'll, I'll just do pure food over here. And all food here. And then that'll fix it up. Sanitation issues there, so we can't build it up just yet. Alright, how are we going? Summary, we're at 73% and rising. Should be close to... Um, Victory conditions again. Yep, just two more turns. Moving on. Yeah, can still assign provincial governors. Oh, of course. This one here needs a provincial governor. Um, Caucasia. Right, I just need to know the name of it. Okay, my faction leader is... Yeah, he's still a general. I really haven't been paying much attention to my family tree. Do I have any statesmen? Oh, fuck it, I'll just hire someone new. Okay, now we could go Perrin's Glory, but I'd prefer to go with Resettlement, because we need these, this region to grow. I need that extra... need that growth. Okay, let's move on. age all the time on this. Garamantians, I can't get a trade agreement out of them. Plus they'll probably betray me again soon. They hate my guts. Good making tons of money from this. I'm just going to move straight on to the next turn. Which will be um, the next level of campaign victory, I don't know. It's not divine victory though. Looks to me like they're planning to attack. So, of course I'm going to continue the campaign. This is the cultural victory. Right. Something there. Oh, because they got plague. Well, whatever, we're working on it. It's because the AI, they fuck up these regions so badly. I got, I got to bloody fix it. She brought up the influence a fair bit, but not by, not by a huge amount. Okay, so all of that tech is done. Let's see. Uh, let's reduce our upkeep costs. Not that we're in any sort of financial trouble. Okay, so the next step here. We've got marble and gem. We need that 80% state religion and 145,000, which I've got that. I've got two. Excuse me, 2 million. We're a long way off from getting that done. 7% more at this rate. It'll, it's, it'll, it's just going to take a long time. That's why we need to be focusing on all these settlements, building up a um, Shrine of Mokosh, 
and the Shrine of Peril, sure his fucking name is, in this one as well. Let's get that osmosis going. Now, this region over here, let me see, how is it going with its paganism? It's increasing, but only by a little bit. I'm just thinking, what can I do to maybe... I think what I'll do is demolish this, because public order now is not an issue. And we'll build up build up the shrines. Problem is, I'm going to forget about it. So maybe I'll just focus on it one turn at a time. Or one thing at a time. Just, otherwise, I'll just forget. Plenty of food here, so I guess I could up the ante there. I have that sanitation. Yeah, I could increase that one as well. But I don't think I will. Procrastinator. Yeah, whatever. Keep moving. Because I want to get this done before I forget. How bloody strong they've gone, even though they're a bloody vassal. What kind of bullshit. They don't pay for their fucking armies. I wrecked Alexandria really badly. They've already rebuilt it quite a lot. Look at all these fucking armies they've got. I mean, yeah, it's desert spears, but these guys there are going to declare war on me as soon as they can. Am I always to be Well whatever, if they do it, they they still suck. Ready for battle. Stay close together, guys. Starting out. Row, duck, is, whoever attacks has the, the biggest advantage. Just out of curiosity. Who are they at war with? Africans and Nubatia. nubatia is gone. I don't know what the fuck's going on with them. Um Judea, they're at war with a bunch of people. Eastern Roman Empire. Okay, they don't like us as much anymore. I don't know why. Greetings in the name of the state. Why is it going down? So forth. Now, they hate the fact that I'm a great power. I guess they've got a new emperor who hates rival empires, right? Well, I can't do anything about that. Let's move on to the next turn. Hang on, need to be over here. Did I? Yeah. Okay. So at 455 AD, this is past the point Attila should have died, but anyway, the Huns are gone. We all look forward to seeing your leaders strangle very, very slowly during the triumphal celebrations. I dragged the Garamantians into this. Of course they refused. I just wanted an excuse to go kill them again. So they've already had their turn, so you're dead. What an idiot. Oh, I can smash up Egypt. They probably subjugated them. Alright, let's see here. So they are, I'm still trading with them, it's still worth quite a bit. And with the Afrigoods. I think this, this guy here needs to die. But to be honest, I don't want to Welcome, be at war with them. But so. scant pleasantries. I lack time to waste. Yeah, whatever. I've got plenty of time. Um, actually, no, I don't. So let's go with 40,000. And a trade agreement. Oh wait, that's not even gonna work. Well, it looks like you're gonna need some punishing then. The thing is, the more I hurt them, the, the less they're gonna like me. 
Well, you know what? Fuck with. I'm annexing this off yet. Mine. Let them cower before us. You don't get to have this back. That's because you declared war on me. Know your fucking place, which is beneath me. I could liberate them, but I don't want to. Ready for battle. Okay, I'm going to need another general so we can um, re-establish these colonies here. Scriptorium. Um, yeah, I might replace that. Olive press, yeah, keep that. Workshops, destroy it. Alright, I'm going to see if I can get a peace treaty now off them. Be welcome, and may God bless your words with I'm willing to pay you sixty thousand. I have other business to do. And a trade agreement? How about that? I'll pay you another thirty thousand for a trade agreement. Nope, they won't have it. This guy hates me. Stupid Imperium. What else is there to do? Oh right, that's right. We've got to punish the Garamantians for their disobedience. Okay, my reliability has gone back to normal. The door is open to you. But if you, you know what? This time, you've had this is strike three. You're out. Ready for orders. Warriors all. You're going to be uh, occupied this time. Thirsty for battle. Is there nothing else? Kill them all. Silly gollywood wog fucking loser. On the move, lads. Ready for orders. Talk about worst slaves ever. Laying siege to their hovels. Let them Look at they're still stable. Good. And let's wipe them out. Like excrement from a boot. Fuck off. Did I lose anything? Nope. Could subjugate them, but that's proven absolutely fruitless. They're still around here, though. Right, if I'm, what I want to do is attack him, but send him out this direction. Well, that didn't work. Ready for orders. Wipe them out. Still caught him, though. Damn, lost units that I can easily replace. Thirsty for battle. Come over here, I want you to hit him in this direction. You know, I didn't want to do this to you, but you fucking forced my hand every step of the way. Okay, let's destroy all the garbage here and rebuild Alexandria in my own vision. I don't think you're needed here anymore. Get up this way. Same with you. Get over here. You can stay there though. So we're not able to recruit here, not until this has con um, been converted. Alright, how are we going in regard to our influence? Because that would have lowered it. Yeah, it did lower it slightly. There's a little bit of Slavic paganism thanks to the osmosis from here. But we need to, you know, spread it out again. 
Okay, my trade agreements, I don't have much. Oh, I might be at trade with Judea. I think they like me. No, they hate me. Am I always to Fucking Jews. Alright, um, what about you? I might have to go subjugate them if they're gonna be like this. Actually, I have a feeling that the Judeans aren't actually Jewish. Let me see. They are Greek Christians. Let's move on to the next turn. So yeah, to get us to 80% influence, that's a bit of a pain. I dislike begging, but we require money. Surely you can help your good friends. Yeah, all right, sure, why not? What are you doing in my land? At that time they disappeared. Ready for orders. That needs to be converted, that needs to be... It's fine. Convert this. Convert... No, just keep it as it is. For now. What do we need? We're going to need sanitation. Good. What else do we need to do? Okay, this needs to be converted. Converted to fishing. Convert this. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Still going up. That's good to see. You're not really needed there anymore. I'll just I'll just keep you there anyway. I mean I can afford. I got tons of money. Okay, over here. Good. We got that extra slot there available now. This at level four will consume the same amount of um. Uh, food as the other place, but except this is going to increase fertility and provide a bit of public order. Not that it really needs it anyway. There's tons of food here anyway as well. And that's being increased in addition to that. Am I war with anyone? I don't think so. No, it's just that this uh, Byzantine emperor here is an absolute cocksucker. That's the problem. Anyway, let's move on to the next turn. I forgot to um, check Tarsus. No, I already did Tarsus. Okay, moving on. Actually, I could probably use a governor in Tarsus to help grow the province. I see, they're going to consistently keep smashing Egypt, which I don't have a problem with that. I mean, I am trading with Egypt, but I really just want to get all my trade from the the, um, the Byzantine Empire. Anyway, we're just about on an hour, so I'm going to end the video here. So guys, like and subscribe, part 50 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.